Alright, what is going on, lovely people of the world? We are going to take a look at the Legendary Six Samurai deck. Now, in my opinion, out of the three decks that I have built, the Six Samurai are the strongest. Uh, and the reason for that is that, like, I wouldn't say any of them have anything, like, quite as devastating as, like, the highest optimal level stuff that my Vampire deck has or that my uh, Harpy deck has. However, it's significantly more consistent in regard to what I can do with it. So, because of that, you know, consistency is a pretty important thing. You know, it's, in my opinion, it is not exactly the greatest, the mark of the greatest deck in the world if, you know, you have a 50-50 chance of either utterly annihilating your opponent or getting absolutely nothing against them. Like, you know, it's kind of, it's bad if that's what you're aiming for. So, we are going to use Reinforcement of the Army real quick to grab the cards that we need to uh, summon Shien on turn one. And that is, this is my tuner monster, Kagimusha of the Six Samurai is one card, and Elder of the Six Samurai is the other card. And the reason, it's actually not necessary. Like, I could have left this dude alone, and I could have just brought in this guy and used uh, Legendary Six Samurai Kageki to bring in this guy, and these two would also fuse into Shien. But the reason why I prefer to utilize uh, the other one is because there's another card which I will show you momentarily when I actually go into the menu. So if I only used uh, Kagimusha and Kageki, I would only be able to summon either this guy or this guy, either Armadis or Shien. Uh, using the House of the Six Samurai also allows me to bring in the Naturia Beast because uh, the House of the Six Samurai is not an Earth monster. So there is another card which unfortunately I did not draw. I love it when I draw it because it is absolutely wonderful. But it allows me to bring back any two Six Samurai monsters that are in my graveyard for the duration of that turn. And so if I get that card, it's a trap card, I can then activate, uh, or I can throw that card on there, activate it the turn when it comes back to my turn, bring those two monsters back, and then summon the Turia with them, and then he stays on the field and he stays useful. So that is the main cause of why I use those two, even though it's not 100% necessary. God fucking damn it. I gotta hold that. That sucks. Interesting. Does he not have ice hands then? I wonder... I wonder if using Sheehan's effect to destroy another card, because this card was targeted but not destroyed, that uh, prevented him from summoning the ice hand. Because the problem... Can I do anything? Oh, that's right, I can use this. So, the reason why you never actually want to do this, use the Mystical Space Typhoon with the timing they just used, now it's the end of my turn, Shein, the entire, I guess I should talk about Shein's effect. I should be trying to talk about everybody's effect. Uh, let me check, what card is this? Mirror Force? Not important enough to save. I don't know what other spell cards he might have to play. He may have something like, for, for instance, if I used Shein's effect real quick, well, Shein's about to die anyway. I probably should have gotten that Mirror Force. I'm going to have to hold this. Ooh, maybe. I don't know how strong the synchronization monster they're going to bring in is. I should definitely have saved that mirror. You know, hindsight, 2020, etc., etc. That is not actually strong enough to fight me. But what is... Okay, so that's, that's handled. That's handled. Get out of my face. Just go away. I don't even want to deal with it. So thankfully, we got him to waste a, a second... Ooh, how much damage could I do? Nah, not enough. I, the max damage I could do right now is 6,900. Because I could use this card to get the other 1,700 damage six samurai out here. And that would allow me to summon Blade Ninja, who can attack twice per turn if I detach an XYZ material from him. But that's not worth using because then I would not have... Again, like if he does something which could potentially destroy Shien, uh, I can use Iro to get rid of him instead of Shien, versus if I bring in Blade Ninja, I can't do that, because ha that has to be a six samurai monster. To activate that effect, it has to be a six samurai monster. It can't be uh, just anything else that's on the field. But thankfully, we weathered that initial fire hand, which could have been scary. We weathered the XYZ, which could have been scary. 
and everything went copacetic. But yeah, the main game plan of this is basically you want to get Shein on turn one, and then after that, it's basically just protecting Shein while he hopefully handles any you know dangerous spells or traps that the opponent may activate. But the problem with this ma the main problem with this deck is definitely the simple fact that uh, there's really nothing with like a lot of firepower to it. So there's some fantastic cards involved, but again, the lack of just you know one real heavy hitter can potentially go awry if you know the right things don't go your way. Uh, the good thing is I am going to be able to do the same exact thing. Well, not the same exact thing I did the first time, but very very close to the same thing I did the first time I will be able to use that that allows me to summon any level 3 or lower monster from my deck so we saw we used that to get Kagimusha again which is gonna allow us to get Shein again and so the good thing about this potentially is that I, vanity I got vanity's emptiness which allows me to prevent the opponent from special summoning any cards However, Vanity's Emptiness does get destroyed whenever uh, any card I control ends up going to the graveyard. So, it can kind of be a problem in that, like, if I activate it to prevent a special summon, but then he brings in, like, a 1900 damage card and kills this card, Vanity's Emptiness is gone. So, like, if I prevent a special summoning to main phase one, cool, but if he does something... I was gonna do this immediately. Fuck you! Ha <laughs> uh, I guess I gotta hold that. Okay then. Well, alrighty! That's cool. Nothing I can fucking do about that. I just gotta hold that shit. But yeah, so if he brings in something that can kill, I guess I probably should have set the other vanity's emptiness. Just in case. A face up wind up monster you control is targeted. Um, trying to, I'm gonna save that. It's not worth using that right now. I could. No, never mind. I actually can't use that because that affects us both. So that allows me to special summon a card, but I cannot actually. I can't special summon right now. What does wind up factory do? Ooh, there we go. There goes Vanity's Emptiness. That is not good. That is actually really not good. Um, shit. I guess I can just put him in defense mode. But he does, he gets 1500 extra attack if there's another active 6 samurai deck on the field, but or 6 samurai card on the field. But obviously, I don't get a 6 samurai card. Should I think after this? I'm gonna go ahead and activate Vanity's Emptiness. So now he can't destroy one of my cards, however... Ooh, he does get to Tribute. Oh, what does that do? Oh shit, please don't take Snatch Steel. Okay, good. Snatch Steel, if he took Snatch Steel right there, that would be a problem. You can Tribute one face-up Wind-Up Monster, except Wind-Up Hunter. Send one random card for your opponent's hand to the graveyard. Okay, good. This spec can only be used once. I may want to consider using this reading the card's effect so I know who to use it on. Like, if he gets summoned real quick. Yo, again? I got, I mean, once Shein was gone, like, I'm getting just really poor draws in general. I could bring back Shein. No, I can't, actually. Yeah! <laughs> I can't bring back Shein. I could technically, like, forceful. I could use this. Uh... I could do that. I could, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and, this is probably a bad idea. Hello, spider on the wall. <laughs> uh, mm, I'm not convinced of the need of this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, wait, shit, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. Mmm, I fucked up. I fucked up, I fucked up. I never remember, I always, for some reason, I always forget. For some reason, occasionally, I believe that this is my tuner card, and not the other dude. So, shit. I basically just hand it away. Whatever. 
I basically just handed off this card on a silver platter, which will allow Vanity's Emptiness to be removed, which could potentially result in the summoning of a synchronization monster, which is going to kick my ass, and I would prefer for it not to. But this is the mistake that I made, and I am going to have to hold that. Let me see what it does. During your main phase, you can increase this card levels by 1 and attack by 400 until the end phase. Oh, okay, yeah, that's not worth using Breakthrough Skill on, because he's going to die anyway. And unfortunately, there goes Vanity's Emptiness, and we could be eating some shit here. Oh, I see. He just used that effect to trigger the wind-up factories. Please give me something so incredibly useful here. Actually, you know what? If he does do a synchronization or an XYZ, I can still snatch steal it, so it's not that big of an issue. But it would have been nice to actually have gotten, you know, a variety of monster cards that would have made this unnecessary to use snatch steal. Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card to set target two set cards and destroy them. I guess I should have used Breakthrough. My bad. It's my fault for not reading fast enough. I could have used a uh, Breakthrough skill in order to prevent that from happening. But I didn't read fast enough. And honestly... Holy shit, would you relax? What is this guy? He has the same shit. Oh my god. This is why I play Vanity's Emptiness. Holy crap. Um, damn, that's actually not a fun card for him to get. Because if I declare an attack, he can prevent that attack from happening. Thus, let me change him to defense position real quick. Let me snatch steel. Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger. So what is his effect? You can also XYZ... Okay, that doesn't matter. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing. So this dude doesn't even have an XYZ effect. How wonderful. So he's going to be able to discard one of his XYZ cards to prevent that attack from going through. Thus, I got to hold that for the moment. Which is going to allow him to get 1,000 life points back. For every turn this dude exists, which is a problem. Because he's going to be able to prevent one more attack. I do have... Oh, okay, I can actually do this now. I was going to say, I do have a second monster that I can use. A second uh, synchronization dude that I can use. Because this card can be special summoned as long as I have another six samurai active on the field. Thus, I can special summon him now since I put just put down Kagimusha. This will allow me to summon the Goyo Guardian. Could summon... No, never mind, he's only 2,500. I would like to summon him because he has a secondary effect. More useful, in my opinion, than Goyo Guardians. Uh, I can prevent trap cards from activating if I need to. But the good thing is now I'm going to get to steal this guy. You know what? I don't want to steal this guy. That was a bad idea. I guess it doesn't matter. But yeah, as you can see right here, you can detach one XYZ... Oh, never mind. If this card is targeted for attack while it doesn't have any XYZ materials, destroy the card. So, that's actually completely useless. I'm not even going to... Oh, shit, that's my bad. I could have fucking direct attacked. Oh, that's what I get for not reading. I could have direct attacked right there. Because the same exact, the reason why I was about to say I don't care about taking that card through Goyo is because of the simple fact that the card just gets destroyed, so it would be able to attack again. So what the fuck is the point? And then I just straight up mind farted, I guess. May as well. No reason not to. It gives me a card. I only need two slots open because I'm gonna X. I'm gonna use this card. I'll explain it in a second. When I actually get to it. Uh, what that card is useful for. So what does it do? You can tribute one, add one random card for your opponent's hand to the graveyard. Okay, I'm not going to use this effect. Can I actually trigger his effect? Let me see. No, I cannot. Oh, I have, it has to, I have to tribute a wind-up monster. I do not have a wind-up monster. But yeah, I was going to say, like, if I think, if I believe, if I read those cards correctly, if I actually did use this card's effect, I would give him two free cards. Ha! <laughs> Which may not be the best idea in the world. Oh god, what are you going to do? Why is it lagging? Everything is frozen in time. Oh, we're about to eat another XYZ. Oh, never mind, we're not. I thought I read on that card. Hang on. Give me a second. I thought I read on that card that he could special summon 
something else as well, that he would be able to special summon two things. Treat one wind-up monster with 1,500 more attacks, special summon one min monster from your hand, then you can summon one wind-up monster from your deck with the same attack. Oh, okay, so it must not have had... He must not have any other 1,800 uh, damage monsters left. So anyway, this card allows me to bring back two... I'm going to bring back Sheen. Allows me to bring back two uh, six samurai cards that are in my graveyard. However, the restriction, the caveat, the catch, the downside is that they only last for one turn. And uh, if they're still there at the end of the turn. So, like, basically it's really only useful to either if you're killing off the opponent or alternatively if you are... Um, What am I, what am I, I'm sorry, I got, I kind of, like, basically fell asleep right there, which is not great. Uh, yes. Because at the very least, it'll prevent them from bringing something back, which is good. These guys are dead. They're dead. I don't know why I'm trying to talk tactics when these motherfuckers are dead. Uh, but yeah, so if they're still there at the end of the turn, like, if I don't XYZ or synchronization the cards that, uh, I just got rid of, or I mean that I just summoned back, I end up taking their combined attack as damage to my life points so it's really again it's really only useful if you're bringing them back to either synchro xyz or if you just need that little bit of extra damage to finish somebody off so let's show off the six samurai deck uh this i don't think i actually got to use this card this card is very i mean basically every single spell up here except for raigeki snatch steel and soul charge is useful in some capacity basically for searching or getting more cards in my hand it's so like this one uh, I get to select one, any one face-up six samurai card I control, and then I get to search my deck and special summon that card from my deck that has the same amount of attack. So for instance, you see another one of the reasons why I commonly use this card and this card is that they both have 400 attack. So if I have one of them down, but I don't have the other one, but if I have this card, I can then search them, summon them, and then synchronize them into, you know, either whichever synchronization monster I need. So that's very useful. It's also very useful for XYZ summoning because, you know, Every other monster, aside every other normal monster I have, aside from, uh, well, these guys, these guys, and these guys, they're all level four. So uh, there are two that have 1800 attack and two that have 1700 attack. So I could uh, use that for an XYZ summon, for instance. So useful for a variety of things. Rageki is Rageki. This just allows me to add one level four lower warrior type monster from the deck to the hand. There's only one monster in this entire deck that is not level four or lower. So I basically have my the entirety of my, the monsters in my deck at my fingertips if I get this card. This is somewhat similar, except it's a card that you lay down, and then each time you normal summon a six samurai monster, you add a counter to it, and uh, then you can activate it whenever you want uh, with as many counters on it as you want, and then you can special summon a card from the deck that's level is lower or equal to the amount of counters on this card. So, for instance, if I start out with, like, Let's just say I start out with three six samurai monsters that I can summon all in the same turn. Let's just say I start out with this dude, this dude, this dude. Like I started out at the very first turn. So I special summon this guy. That's a counter. I then summon this guy. That's a second counter. I then use this guy's effect to special summon this guy. That's a third counter. I then synchronize this guy and this guy into Shien. That's a fourth counter. And so now I can just search for any f level four monster, which is everybody that is not Grandmaster, and just play them on the field that's fantastic uh this guy allows me to add any level three or lower six samurai from you know the deck to my hand again useful for searching if i need that one specific card or even then even if i don't really need it like let's just say i start out with a hand of like four cards and a level four dude and one of those cards is this i would use that and grab this dude and i would just summon this guy and then special summon the level four very useful for that uh this one also uses counters i just play it when i normal summon as or not when i normal summon when i summon a six samurai monster it adds a counter to a max of two and then whenever i activate it i draw as many cards as there are counters of it so i can draw up the two cards snatch steel snatch steel soul charge soul charge breakthrough skill you did not see it because i did not use it when i had the opportunity to because i'm a dumbass but it just prevents an effect monster's effect from working for a single turn and then also if it's in the graveyard i can banish it and then do the same exact thing so basically it's a double use skill negation card uh this card you also saw i just talked about it the double-edged sword technique mirror force is mirror force uh this is kind of just another line of defense for my six samurai cards because the one kind of flaw in general to them is 
kind of tends to be spell or trap cards, which is why Xi'an is so important, and why eventually you'll see why I have these two cards in here, even though I have no n nature stuff in my deck otherwise. But this is just another line of defense from uh, cards or effects that would kill off my six samurai monsters that prevents those from happening. Solemn Warning, Solemn Warning. You saw Vanity's Emptiness. Uh, there's nothing really particularly special about this guy. This is a card that you can special summon if you have any other six samurai card on the field, which is fantastic. And also, if he's destroyed by a card effect, I can then target any one six samurai card in my graveyard. It doesn't have to be him, but it could be him, and return that card to my hand. So, if, you know, if he's destroyed by Mirror Force, Raigeki, all that kind of stuff, then I get a six samurai card back, which is awesome. Uh, you saw him. He also has a secondary effect where you see here. During either player's turn, when exactly one face of six samurai monster you control is targeted by a spell, trap, or a card effect that could have targeted this card, you can activate this effect and it targets this card instead. So basically, you sacrifice this card to save that other card if you would want to. I'm never really in a position to do that because basically if I, ha if I have this dude on the field, I'm using him to synchronize something. I have never actually kept this guy on the field for longer than a single face. Um, Inishi is, again, kind of another line of defense against card effects. I can banish any two six samurai monsters from my graveyard, and then I can- Oh, it's only- wait, what? Target one face-up monster on the field. Oh, I thought I could target anything, but apparently it's only face-up monsters. So that's a line of defense against like a synchronized monster or a uh, XYZ monster, which just has more attack than I can deal with. I can just shove it off to the side and not deal with it. You saw this guy's effect. Uh, him, he doesn't really have anything special, it's just- well, he does. If you have more than- uh, if you have two other six samurai cards or more, on the deck he gains 300 attack and defense but you can also special summon him if there's another six samurai card on the field so again that's just like a another free monster on the field if i choose this one's just another line of defense if a six samurai monster is going to be destroyed i can send this card to the graveyard instead and then that card just doesn't get destroyed iro is basically the main reason he's here is to have another 1700 attack dude that i can utilize this card with anishi if i need to but he also has a secondary effect of he just destroys any face down card if you would if you attack a face down defense card with iro he just destroys them uh rather, actually i wonder i don't really ever use soul charge i wonder if i should replace that with book of the moon because book of the moon in, con uh, in conjunction with iro would actually be really useful to just get rid of a card because if they're face down, he just destroys them. You don't have to deal with the flip effect. You don't have to care how high their defense is. Iroh just destroys them. Straight up. So, I wonder whether or not I should replace Soul Charge with Book of Moon. That might be something to think of. But other than that, he doesn't have anything else. That's just that's his main effect. And just the fact that, again, I can he is another 1700 damage dude that I can use uh, for that other card search. This is my other 1800 damage guy, aside from this guy. Uh, but he also has a secondary effect of if there's another, again, pretty much all of these are like, if there's another six samurai dude on the field, then you can do this. Same exact thing here. If there's another, uh, six samurai card on the field, if he loses, like if I can put him up against like a 4,000 damage dude and he'll just destroy that card, I'll still take the life damage from it, but he ends up destroying that card because, um, that's just his effect. So that's really useful, again, is something, you know, if somebody brings out something with a lot of firepower, I can handle it with this card, because I don't really have any cards with significant firepower that I can just play at any point in time. So then we get into my extra deck. Uh, Armadis is just, again, he's another, almost everything I have here is utilized to prevent cards from activating. So that's what he does. If this card attacks or is attacked, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. He prevents cards from activating. Uh, Goyo Guardian is just there because he's pretty much the strongest uh, Synchro level 6 monster I have, or that I, that's, I can use. Uh, Legendary 6 Samurai, Shien. Again, he's kind of the main card you want to bring out because once per turn you can prevent a spell or trap for activating. And so that's a little, it's a little bit of a problem if you're going up against somebody who has a lot of spells or traps. Because then you have to, you know, make the decision, is this card that this person is playing right now important enough for me to remove or do I want to save it just in case he has something worse around the corner. Uh, Mistworm is kind of save my ass, really. Uh, when you bring, when you synchro summon him in, you can target up to three cards your opponent controls and return those targets to the hand. So he's not exactly a devastating card, 2,500 damage, not a lot, but that effect of being able to return three cards uh, to the hand, potentially very strong. These two both, they kind of have this, a similar effect. This guy is the one that you'll see of it the most from this deck because again 
uh, the same cards that make Xien also make this dude, so that's perfect if I want to use uh, the two sword thing, whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> I know these names very well. But, so, uh, again, he's just kind of used a support for Xien. If I have this card out, I don't have to really worry about negating spell cards with Xien because I can do it with this guy. The caveat to that is that it's not free once per turn like Xien is. I have to discard two cards from the top of my deck uh, in order to negate a spell effect. And then this guy is kind of, you know, the, the guy that works along with him. If somebody activates a trap card, you can then banish two cards from your graveyard to the uh, banish pit, whatever the hell it's called, and then you prevent that trap card from activating. So, like, you know, pretty much all of my spells are traps that I end up getting rid of. I have no way to get those back. So I'm constantly using spells and traps, so that card works really well with that because I can just banish off. I can keep the six samurai that I have still in the graveyard while I put all the spells and traps that I no longer have any use for over there. I don't know why I have this one in here. Somebody was just like, hey, you should have that. So I put it there. I haven't used it. I mean, I don't really get it because you can see right here. Well, this card has an XYZ material attached that was originally water. All water monsters you control gain 500 attack. I have no water monsters. I don't really get why that dude is there. But anyway, this card just, you know, very strong. This card I wanted to use because he's another warrior type. Uh, and that goes along well, even though it's ninja versus samurai, I guess. But still very useful and then in conjunction with this guy Excalibur that allows me to potentially you saw it against Zork that was what I was aiming for when I talked about oh I can OTK Zork right here that was what I was talking about is that if I have you know let's say I have Xi'an and I have four level four dudes on the field along with Xi'an and there's only like one defensive guy on the board I could then use Xi'an to attack uh, well I'd have to do this in the opposite order but I would be able to XYZ Blade Armor Ninja then XYZ Excalibur, have Xi'en kill the um, the defensive mode guy, then I trigger this guy's effect, who his card, this attack becomes double to its original attack, so he has 4,000, I get to discard an XYZ monster from him, he gets to attack twice, that's another 4,400, that's potentially 8,400 damage right there between those two cards. Very devastating, very situational, but still very devastating. Castell is Castell, there's really no need to explain why he's here, he is my, you know, oh this dude just brought out a ridiculously devastating card that took a lot of resources, let me use some of my resources real quick to get rid of it. Um, this guy, kind of useful, again, he can potentially be useful to uh, for a little bit of additional firepower if I need it, he can also potentially be like a finisher, like, if I bring somebody down to 500 health, but I can't quite finish them off, and they bring in something, I'm kind of like, ah, you know what, I can't really deal with it. I can bring this guy in in defense position, activate his effect, and then I just, that, just 800 damage right there to the opponent, they're dead. So, could potentially be, you know, the last little bit of damage to save you. Uh, this is an, I don't really, I haven't really used him, because, I mean, once per turn, during either player's turn, you can attach one XYZ material from this, oh, you know what, that could actually save my ass. I didn't really pay attention earlier to the during either player's turn, so because of that, I could have a six samurai monster targeted, and then I could up that monster's attack to 2,000 for a second, and that would save it and allow me to potentially use it for something better on the next turn, so it allows me to stall for a little bit. I didn't know you could use it on either turn, so that might actually come in useful. And this is just kind of my, oh, I've synchronized everything I could possibly make already, but I still have level 3 dudes left. Uh, let me make them useful. <laughs> uh, so that's just what this guy is for, because... Um, you can detach one XYZ material whenever he could potentially be destroyed. And then if that happens, I get to target one card on the field and destroy it. So that's very useful. It's like, okay, kill this card. What the fuck do I care? Oh, let me, oh my bad. You didn't actually kill this card. Let me get rid of uh, this XYZ material. And now I get to kill you. So anyway, that is the, that, those are the cards that I have in this deck. It's my six Samurai deck. Thank you for watching. We will do Harpies next.